How's it going everyone? This is Dave from wetflyswing.com and today I'm going to show you how to tie a brassy. Um, we're tying with a C49S uh, Mustad. This is just a curved, uh, curved Mustad hook here. And I'm using uh, 70 uh, denier ultra thread. And I'm going to start tying right behind the bead and we're just using a plastic bead here to mix it up a little bit. And what I'm going to do to keep this thing uh, even is take off a little a little small ultra wire. This is on a size 18 so we're tying this pretty small and I'll just get the tie this ultra off and what I'm going to do is stick it right underneath kind of right underneath that bead start my wraps there and as I come back I just want to make it really even as even as possible. When I get to the back I'm going to turn it so I can really get down below here and because uh, you want to get it into that curved see into that curved area I'm going to spin it even more so it's actually see how we're pointing down now I can really wrap back over here I'll go all the way to the back right about there and then we're just, we're just going to come right back all the way to the front right about there and then I'm going to start wrapping and do your best to keep this even. So I'm going to start one there, put them right back behind it, right next to it. It's hard to see because this is a size 18. Sometimes you think you're wrapping right next to it and you're all good. Then you pull it out and zoom in on it and it's not that great. And actually I am uh, have glasses on. I'm wrapping slowly, tight. Tight. We'll see how that looks when we get done here. Then I'll wrap just a couple here and one, a couple in front. And the key is here on these small flies is you don't want too many wraps because you don't want to get too bulky. Spin that baby off. And then pretty much got, you know, you're ready for your, your thorax piece. What I'm going to do here is get a couple of, um, Get a couple of peacock strands. Doesn't take much on this. You can do two or three, um, and you want to get more of the uh, more of the, a little bit of the smaller part. You don't you don't want to get the huge uh, front pieces here. So I'm just going to take a couple that I have laying around from past flies. And what I'm going to do is once I get these peacocks lined up, I'm just going to trim them. So they're even. There we go. So I got a couple of peacock. I'm gonna set them here, and then what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this zappa gap and just put a little dot. This is gonna be my secure. This is gonna be like my head cement essentially. Take a little dot of that. We'll put that right, right on there. You don't need much. And then we're gonna go back to our peacock. get that really even so we can tie it right in. And then we're just going to get that right there. Get it right to where we want it. And then it's just going to take basically, that's a little small guy and we'll cut that off. It's only going to take two or three wraps. So there's one. There's two. i do one more. I think we're going to stick. Now try to squeeze one more kind of a half wrap right there. And then get that in there. Just again a couple of quick wraps here. One in front. And that's all there is to that. I'm gonna do a quick little whip finish. You don't have to use head cement like I said on this. Because the um, that zappa gap really secures it. So you can see that's about all there is to that little guy. It's about, you know, a, Two thirds um, back to the to the one third front, and um, so that's all we got for you. Uh, this is Dave from WetFlySwing.com. Thanks for checking out the video today, and we'll catch you soon.